that's fine. I don't need to be in focus. <laughs> uh, all right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Non-Members Only, the podcast for non-members. If you're a member, get out of here. This episode is not brought to you by Lululemon. However, we are here in Rancho Mirage, Mirage yes. California, for a Lululemon event, which we will get to in a moment. Yeah. Um, we are... Hold, let, okay. So I don't this even know where to start. This is a lot. It's There's been a lot. We've been here for about 24 hours, right? I'm wearing mascara and I'm trying not to move my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Erin's the most dressed up I've seen her. Dan I, is also wearing uh, something that's dressed up. Yeah, and I feel like now I can't blink. Because you, <laughs> you guys have to go to a nice we dinner. We have to go to a fancy dinner. Yes, and which, as everyone knows, Erin is... Not that. <laughs> <laughs> so... I don't know. So should we start from like, let's talk about, let's, let's, first of all, we meant to open this up last night. Yes. But we, that was after a full day. We, we went from East coast to West coast. Correct. Got in a three hour car ride. Yes. We arrived here before we even got on the plane. Let me just say something, tell you a little story, Michael. Okay. Michael I, I left my house at four 30 in the morning. Yes. Also. And we left our <laughs> house the night before, stayed over at an airport hotel. Yeah. Getting to that airport hotel, Dan and I are in the truck. Mm -hmm. We're headed there following the, the GPS. Yeah. And we get off the exit and we hear just like this loud music. Like I thought there was some kind of fair going on. Mm -hmm. We're about to drive through like a... I don't know, like a, an actual event, you know, like the speakers at, at yeah, loud like a events, like a carnival of sorts. Yeah, just like okay. bumping. And I was like, oh, cool. There's something really cool going on here. And as we go, as we're traveling along this road, the path that we can get through becomes narrower and narrower because it is lined with cars. Okay. However, the cars are not even trying at these parts to park on the side they're just like in there we realize it's kind of like a, sh a street party or something i would say you're saying right out like for the newark airport exit the newark um this hotel that we were staying okay, okay. so we got off the exit to go to the newark airport yeah um like long-term parking yeah but you take this different turn to get to this hotel mm -hmm. and it takes you you're on like this back unlit back road almost in this industrial park to get to the hotel. Okay. So we're like a quarter mile from it. And not only are, can we barely get through because of how the cars are parked. Dan looks way too overdressed for what I'm wearing and that's fine. But, <laughs> um, you're sunburned. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I had sunscreen on. Okay. Let me oh, stay on topic. Dan's going to make some noise in the background and Dan, just make, Check it once in a while to make sure it's still recording. That's all, because okay, I've had luck where it just stops. Of for some course, reason. of course. So, so we're we're driving along, and then we actually can't get through because there's just crowds of people drinking uh, and just hanging out. Like uh, this is on, off a highway exit. This is off a highway exit. Okay. And there, at one point, there's a car coming toward us, and there's a huge group of people just not trying to get out of our way whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We were not invited to this party, and they also were not trying to let us through either. So the music was so loud, I felt it in my being. It was so like the bass was like yeah, you could feel it was the like thumping. shaking. Yeah. And. I did actually capture a visual of this. I took, I, cause I couldn't believe what we were seeing. So I did get a video of it. Like I can't, I, I can picture what you're saying. Cause yeah. you're doing a great job of describing Thank you. it. But I, I, it's like, it's almost too unbelievable. Like why is this happening? It was the, so random. Yeah. I still can't really understand it, but we can use the video and the visual recap to show okay. everyone. Well, I would, I want to try to put this episode on YouTube as well. Oh, okay. So people can okay. watch it and we can insert the video clips. right here. Wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then at this point, we're like, well, maybe they're just allowed to do that around here. This okay. is this is one okay. of those those roads maybe yeah. that you have a like permit and you can have a party. Party. Block and, party. Yeah, block party. Yeah. That that's the word yeah. I'm looking for. 
it seemed really fun. Yeah. But, you know, it was late. We were trying to get to the hotel. Eventually, the one car coming toward us went so that we could go around and get through. Mm -hmm. We noticed when we turned into the hotel parking lot, there was a police officer Mm -hmm. sitting up the road. Mm -hmm. And I thought, "Mm, maybe they're protecting the block party. Yeah. Because they don't want, I don't know, maybe it it was like, hey notice if you're going that way there's a block party don't hit anybody it was not that the second we got up to our room we hear sirens and all of those cars that were parked along the road just start hitting the highway like (laughs) they are going one after the other (laughs) the cops have set up up the road there and we're just stopping like stopping people so they stopped like all the they stopped so a lot of people got through wow yeah, they were just going around, and we were, like, just watching this. I think I got a video of that as well. We were just watching from the hotel room, like, we were just there. Mm-hmm. We were a part of that block party as much as Imagine they didn't want Imagine you wanna... guys got pulled over because you, <laughs> you were, you that were would involved. Be, that would yeah. be very on brand for us. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so that's how we started this trip, and the, the flight was very uneventful, I thought. Yes. I, I just want to shout out Ferda for driving me. Thank you, Ferda, for Unreal driving. Unreal at four thirty in the morning. Yeah, like, yeah, that's a that Ferda legend. deserves a big shout out. Yes, and so anyway, we also someone who deserves a big shout out is Yusuf. Shout our, out, my boy. Also, shout out Lululemon for literally coordinating every single detail of this yes. trip, including a driver for us because we had to fly into LAX, which is a few hours from here. Mm-hmm. I thought we would get in like a taxi van. I was expecting like an uh, Uber, you know? Yeah, yeah. One of those things. Yeah. And no, this is Yusuf. He's in like professional Professional driver. driver that holds up the card with your name yes, on it. Yes, yes. And... Takes your baggage to the car. Oh, yeah. He took our bags? Yes. He... he was he wearing a nice hat? He had a suit, I think, He was least. wearing a suit. Yeah. I'm picturing with a hat, but I don't think he had a hat. I think that's like a stereotype, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, But he... I'm saying that he's our friend. I don't I know if agree. he would say the same, but I really I felt like he liked us as well. I would well. take a bullet for Yusuf. Yes. Yeah. hundred percent. And so we, you know, it, we bonded over that car ride and it, he took us, he gave us, um, you know, fun facts along the way. Yes. Like, oh, that dirt over there is turned up because that's, they di- were digging for gold. Mm-hmm. And hey, this is a sandstorm coming yeah. up. He told us about a mountain lion that they had a funeral for that yeah. died. Yeah. <laughs> it was really interesting stuff. And he, and it was just the right amount too. Just when I started to get a little bored after we saw the sandstorm, boom, another fun fact. Yeah. He didn't over talk. Yeah. You yeah. Know, some, some drivers just want to tell you every single yeah. detail of yeah. everything. He was not like that. Because there were moments where all three of us just sat in silence and, and I tried to close my eyes. I tried to play I was Sudoku. just trying to stay alive right. at that point. <laughs> he even let us pull over and get food. He went, like, waited yeah. while we got food. Yeah, and in his car, he had snacks. He had snacks. He had water. water sparkling water. Phone chargers. <laughs> yes. Evian water, by the way. Glass bottle. Evian. Bottle of Evian. That's Evian. Come on. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, it was very impressive. I just... I asked Yusuf if he could be our driver for the way back, but he wasn't sure. But anyway, I'm I'm hoping he is. Yusuf, if you're listening to this, we <laughs> really love you. Yeah. So he he took us somewhere to get food and yeah, yeah waited. It was great. It was, it was very great. nice. Yes. And so when we got here, we had to try on all of our Lululemon gear. Yeah. And of course, in the nature of that game, we yes. needed to make exchanges exchanges for yes. sizes and everything, and they're so accommodating. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, the rooms are amazing. Of course, this is the Ritz Carlton. The Ritz Carlton. <laughs> yeah, this is the Ritz Carlton. Probably the only time. Yeah, like this is. Yeah, we are not the typical clientele here, but we are loving it. We are living it up. Yeah, as you can see in the background, this is the view from. This is Aaron's room. Right. This uh, is the, not the like. Room yeah. And, this yeah. is not like just like a pub public area. No, this is outside <laughs> the room, and it's a beautiful hotel. Why did what? Do you want me to adjust the camera because it's getting darker? Um, mm, got some technical stuff going on. If you want. Or would it mess stuff up? It won't mess stuff up. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to go from like dim back up to bright again. If you put it on YouTube, it's just like. 
Let's just let it fade out naturally. Just let it fade out. We gotta I guess. keep going. Yeah, let's Thank just you keep, though keep for keep your rolling. input. Yeah. Love that. It's for, it'll be it'll be our YouTube video and yeah. if it's bad, it's bad. You guys it, are listening to us anyway without any exactly. visuals. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. So here we are. Yeah. And so as I'm on FaceTime with Destiny, who is our keeper. Right. So we arrive, we settle in a little bit. Yeah. At this point, we're exhausted. We try on the stuff. Um, I meet you guys in your room. Mm-hmm. Um, we were going to do something. We were going to review the the videos that we needed to make. Yeah, we were going to prep for today, basically. Yes. And then you get a call from and then Destiny. Then I get a call from Destiny. She's like, can I FaceTime you? I said, absolutely. She had questions, like, you know, of the products that we needed. So... As this is happening, for some reason, I look out in the hallway. There's a hummingbird just <laughs> flittering about. A literal hummingbird. An actual hummingbird yes. live flying in the hallway. I yell, there's a hummingbird. There's a hummingbird. Mike thinks there's a picture of a hummingbird. Yeah, you never know with Erin <laughs> what she's seeing. Okay. So right, that's fair. I, I immediate. I was like, okay, if there is a hummingbird, I'm going to grab my camera. Yeah. Right. So I grabbed my camera, um, go out there. And there's a hummingbird. There's a live hummingbird. And Dan's over there already in the hallway. Already about already ready to in take action. care of it. Yes. Yeah. Trying to capture it in his hat. And this whole all this commotion's going on. I'm yelling at Mike <laughs> to make sure you get this on camera. I do I'm, have a clip. Insert the clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Open open that door and let's try and get it outside. Open that door. Oh, wait, are you telling me there's a hummingbird? <laughs> there's a hummingbird in the hallway. <laughs> I'm FaceTiming with uh, Destiny trying to explain to her that they're what is going on. Yeah. And she's like, okay, wow, but I do need, you yeah, know, she's the focus. still in the store trying <laughs> <Right>. to. <laughs> and so eventually Dan does manage to get the hummingbird and release it outside. Yeah. And I think we also have a clip of that. Yes, we that, did. That was a bunch of commotion. Uh, we also got room service last night. Probably the best Caesar salad of my life. That chicken. That I got. You got chicken. We got chocolate cake, which yes. I was ready to have a wrecked stomach. I didn't even care. <laughs> I didn't yeah. care. Yeah. And it I mean, was amazing. Yeah. I mean, oh like, my God, it was so good. I took a picture of it, and you have a picture of me taking a picture of yes. my chicken. Yes, naturally. Yes. So. Um, and then we, it, this was about, I would say like 7 30. I was, my eyes were like rolling back in my head. I'm trying to prop yeah, myself I, up on I'm the usually, bed. Usually, I'm like, hanging out but i was like ready to go uh, we did we couldn't <laughs> we couldn't last another second yeah mike left i'm waiting up for destiny because she's like i'm gonna bring your mm-hmm. exchanges and so i had the uh mcmillions documentary on trying okay. to keep myself awake i ha- propped myself up to sitting i'm like this will keep me awake mm-hmm. dan fell asleep i'm really struggling and I drop out. I <laughs> fell into such a deep sleep. Then destiny knocks on the door and jo- I like sprung up like, yeah, because I don't want to be disrespectful. Right. I, I don't want someone to be waiting at the door. Mm-hmm. Got our exchanges. Everything's great. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. woke up this morning, had a beautiful, I mean, I, I'm honestly, I can't even find words, but we, we ate breakfast outside. Mm hmm full buffet breakfast in the most picturesque setting I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah, it felt like a movie set. Yes. It didn't look like a real place. Right. (laughs) I don't even know if it's real. Yeah. And the entire day just went like that. The thing is, it's so well organized. Yes. There's someone at every corner. Yeah. Every station there to help you. If you look a little lost, they're like, do you need yeah. do you need help finding something? There's always a snack and always a refreshment between every meal. You can look anywhere and someone's like, Do you need water? Mm-hmm. Oh, also we have these fresh juices. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. everything is on ice. Yes. It is mine was like slushy, it was perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm just l- like living the dream. Yeah. So we're basically here. It's for Lululemon's further event. Mm-hmm. It's a six day ultra marathon. There's 10 women that are Lululemon ambassadors that set their own goals. Mm -hmm. Um, We have Camille Harris here who, (laughs) Camille Harris. Who's Camille Harris? 
Camille Her- Heron. Am I saying names right? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, the current world record holder for yeah. 48 hours of running. And she's ready to break more records. Mm -hmm. And then there's Myrna. She set a record of running 181 miles. Like these women have all set their own. I I think we need to make it very clear that they are running for for, six days. For six days, but they're running as much as they can. Yes. For six days. Because I'm not sure that I understood that until Uh I got here. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you say, like, oh, they're running for six days, I'm like, so what are they? Are they actually running? Where they pee and poo and sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they, they have stations to sleep. They have trailers. Yeah, they have trailers. Right? I mean, so the whole thing about this event is the research behind the, the research uh, specifically on women ultra marathon athletes that Lululemon has done. And from that research designed these race kits mm-hmm. for these 10 women and the whole everything that they're doing, the course the setup, the, like you said, the, the pit stops, everything is to, hence the name of the event, support these women in going further, Mm -hmm. whatever that means to them. But in most cases it is legit run, just running the furthest that they've ran. Yeah. Um, there's, there was so much science that went on today. Yes. We, when they unveiled the race, 36 points of something, 36 points of, um, what's that, that called? I even asked for clarification. <laughs> you did, and I don't remember. <laughs> Between the the clothing and the shoes, there's 36 product innovations okay. that went into these race kits based on the and research done. Explain kits. Yeah, so Mike thought this was a box of clothing. When someone says kit to me, I'm expecting like I got to put something together. Yes, yeah, you assemble know? something. Yeah. This is so the race kit is everything that they wear on their body a race kit for track and field is like a tank top and shorts okay um a race kit for this ultra marathon has so many different pieces to to it excuse me because they're accounting for like hot cold here it's like i'm cold right now Mm -hmm. it's gonna be maybe 40 degrees midday i am sunburned and i was pouring sweat just we walking cooking, the course i was baking we walked one lap of the course which was what two and a half, two and miles? And a half miles yeah full sun and i am i i had sunscreen you know me i'm fully covered uh, dan and, and I, I did not well, of course <laughs> yeah yeah there i i just i'm and so we got to meet the athletes they mm-hmm. all they did like an athlete conference and then afterward i got to interview camille myrna and Vrico, mm-hmm. which they they were like my top three picks and I got them. So which, chill. It was yeah. so cool. Yeah. And we're making some really fun content here. We're slightly delirious. Yes. But that is what makes the best podcast, in my opinion. I agree. I think it would have been funny to record last night, but I physically could not even set this up. I think I, I think I was gonna throw up because <laughs> I was so tired. <laughs> yeah. I also, mean we were we were up for solid 18 oh, hours yeah i mean it was like a six hour flight and then a three hour drive and yeah yeah and then getting here and having to handle log- a bunch of we didn't even have to handle logistics let's be real we tried we just, on stuff and said eh. we just followed <laughs> what they were saying to yeah. do they thought of everything i'm yeah. i'm beyond impressed yeah so here we are i i will i guess i will update on this fancy dinner that we're going to mm-hmm. i'm also on my like fifth cup of coffee today yes. i'm just i'm rallying and i am gonna go back into the room order oh, yeah. more chicken <laughs> which i'm excited about and edit because we have to make i think four videos four videos <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and then on top of it this podcast yes yeah so no uh, big deal it's okay. Yeah, there's a truck. Shout out trucks. Also, shout out uteruses, uteri. <laughs> I got, got my period today and it was, I forgot my Motrin. I oh, took no. Motrin this morning and then I left the hotel without it. And so all day I was really holding it together, mm-hmm. but not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay. that's the update on my uterus. Um, I felt like that was important. It was it was necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are surrounded by women. There's a lot of uteri here. Correct. It was basically just like Dan and I <laughs> and Billy Yang. Yeah, on the on the buses. <laughs> yeah. Shout yeah. out shout out Dan. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else? Oh my gosh. I'm well, sure there is. Tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is when the race starts. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of excitement. I think um, starting at 7 a.m. Really. That's when we head out. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a big day. 730 in the morning. Yeah. That's yeah. what we did today. But we were up at like four. So I was up at 230. Yeah. I forced myself the to go The jet lag back. is real. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We will continue on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we are back. Squatting. Day two. Beep, beep, boop, boo, doo, day, doo. day three. <gasps> it's oh my gosh, we've been here. This is our third day because we got here Monday. Yeah. So at some point we got here Monday. Yes. Yesterday was the pre-race staff or pre-event pre-feet, if you will. Yes. Today was the start. Today was on us on an epic scale. Yeah. I, I honestly think 10. Yeah. I mean, you, but before we get there, Sorry. you need to tell us about the dinner last night because oh, you guys went yeah. to a fancy dinner. I went back to the hotel room. I ate my chicken. Yes. The, I had a great room service uh, guy Experience, come in. Yeah. He, he asked me if he, if I wanted him to take the food out for me. And I was like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. I was, I'm not, I don't understand. I need to eat the food first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah, I was jealous of your experience because I knew you were just sitting in solitude, and it was nice. I needed yeah. it at that time, but I was also happy about getting to experience the dinner because it was at a very fancy place. Mm -hmm. um, they had us in a private room because there were you've seen every all the media here and yeah, yeah. Lululemon employees and creators. Like, there's a lot. There's a big crew, mm -hmm. and we took the shuttle buses again. We've been on those. They're very fancy. Shout out. And shout out. It was like a 20 minute drive, I would say. And I wasn't in the mood for it at that time because it was like 1030 p.m. <laughs> yeah. At, our on the time, East Coast. Yeah. yeah. But I was really hungry. I was excited to eat. And we crowded into this room. I was slightly cold because I think it was kind of outside, but not. Mm. And California loves to do that. They really Everything like you to be out. Everything is half in, half out. Just be outside. Yes. Get, get that sunburn. Sun. You want a network? Sun. Sun. You want yoga? Sun. Sun. Sun with black yoga mat. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get okay. to that. And so I was really excited because I got to sit next to Real Talk with T. Shout out her. And then there was an empty seat. And then there was Laura Green. I think they separated us by that empty seat on mm. purpose for some reason. But that that's all right. And I was across from Hillary. Yang, who's Billy Yang, YouTube man, mm -hmm. his wife, and she's she runs like hundreds of miles, and it was really interesting to talk with her. Casual. And Caitlin Hutchinson from, well, she does a lot of things. I keep wanting to say Sidious Mag. Anyway, cool people is what I'm saying. Yeah, so you had a, a good Fun good conversation. Tia and I did not get here. Here's something dramatic that happened in my mind. Okay. We did not get our salads. Uh-oh. Everyone else. Got their salads. We both ordered a Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. It did not come. Mm -hmm. I saw, by this point that we realized it, I saw other people without salads. So I was like, it's all right. They don't have salads either. Yeah, you're going to get yours. Yeah. It's and, coming. Yeah, and T was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, then we realized, no, they actually already ate their salad and they took their plate away. Mm. And you were, I know you love your Caesar salad. So. Oh, I know. Right? So, so I'm, I can, I know you were really disappointed. I was looking forward to that <laughs> immensely. Yeah. And especially cause I, like we were so hungry last night. Yes. Yeah. And that's the first course. Oh, my mouth it. was watering watching everyone eat that Caesar salad. Yeah. And so then we realized, oh, we really just aren't getting them. Just us two. Mm -hmm. And I was fully ready to just starve. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah. And without hesitation, T goes, oh, excuse me, we didn't get our salads. Yeah. So confident. So polite. Yeah. yeah. Not awkward at all. You she didn't, didn't have cry. to apologize. She didn't say sorry. She didn't cry. She didn't put her head down on the table and hide. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I could learn a thing or two from yeah. T. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all can. Yeah. And you know what? You know what they did? They brought out our salads. Yeah. 
and it was fine. Dan and I brought up to her yesterday that she should pop in on this podcast at some point. We, uh, that would be a dream, but yeah. she has stuff to do. Yeah, she's a busy lady. She's a busy lady, and she is pretty cool. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she she said she would love to. But I I hope she might yeah. have just been. She might nice. be polite. Yeah. So shout out T in yeah, case we out. don't get her on here. Yeah. But um yeah so after the food was great I had the scallops for dessert there was a sorbet sorbet very a yeah. sorbet yeah. it persimmon sorbet persimmons yeah it it was refreshing Dan Daniel was talking to the someone. room service is here oh, okay. I think okay cool it did sound like destiny actually but I really don't know <laughs> <laughs> and um and but shortly after. I, I, I finished my scallops and, you know, the desserts out. I started to fade hard. Mm -hmm. Like I was, my throat was kind of getting dry from talking, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My eyes were getting red. Yeah. And then I just couldn't hide it anymore, how tired I was. Mm -hmm. Someone actually came over and they're like, don't worry, the shuttles are coming. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm okay. And he was just looked at me like, oh, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a child falling asleep at the right. table. Yeah. Right. And then we had, you know, the drive home and I was so excited to go to sleep and I slept pretty well. You all right there? Yeah. I'm getting a random call from an unknown number. We're not picking uh, that up. No, we're not picking that out. Yeah. Picking that out. Oh. So yeah, went to bed, woke up this morning. We were out of here at 7 a.m., right? No, it was... Earlier, the event I think started at seven. No, you're right. You're right. We were, we were out of here at seven a.m. Yeah. on those shuttle buses. I had to yeah lobby at six forty-five is yeah. what it was. And then we did a lot. It's only for the record. It's only two p.m. I am tired. <laughs> We've lived ten, ten lives, lives today. Absolutely. Yeah. Let let's let's recap because we got there and the the excitement was in the air today mm -hmm. because it was the start of this six day further event that Lululemon is putting on. So basically the 10 ambassadors that we um, heard speak yesterday, I got to interview some of them. They were gearing up to is the food here, Dan? running okay. for six days. Yeah. Are we going to break here because well, we're starving and dying? I'm, I'm starving, but should we, uh, I got the medium. Well, all right. Did you bite it? That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Is this a good stopping point? It's not a good stopping point. Let me just okay. Me, continue your story, it. and then we'll we'll yeah. put a pause. So there was there was much lead up to it. All the uh, race race all the runners got introduced. It was like this big thing. Um, Came and out then, one by one. One by one. Yeah. I got to. Um, we got some footage of all of them at the start line, and then it was like this big countdown and then boom they're off and it was like oh there yes. they go the yeah. start of six days of running yeah and so then i just want to say one more thing before we eat okay. i got to dj yeah with charlie dark shout out charlie yeah thank you charlie for making me look cool kind yeah, of and aaron was saying that she was pushing all the wrong buttons he would be like push this one and aaron would push the wrong one he would say turn this <laughs> until it gets to here I would turn it the opposite way. Like, I just couldn't do it right. And he was so patient, yeah. and I appreciate that. Yeah. But I definitely messed it up. And it was a dream come true. Check it off the bucket list of yeah. DJ. Yeah, I'm pretty sure only Dan and I were in the crowd for you. Don't, but, we don't have to mention that, actually. But it was still Cut cool. That. Okay. It was still cool. <laughs> it was basically Coachella. <laughs> we we're like 10 minutes from Coachella, I think. Yeah, I did see a sign. Straight desert. Now we're going to slam food into our faces and we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back after that because I'm I'm really hungry. Like my tummy is grumbling. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Unfortunately, that I don't think that clip is going to make the cut of right, the actual we, video, but that that clip I so love good. it so much. It's so good. <laughs> we're we're put we're editing the a video right now. It's basically an overview of the event. Yeah. And I intro it and then I say, okay, let's go. And then sprint. And then I sprint the off the camera. Yeah. But it's all right. We, we like it ourselves. <laughs> we just ate and I immediately got so tired. Yeah. I'm struggling, but we are here. We're staring at beautiful mountains. I mean, 
I can't stop taking pictures of the mountains. Yeah, I'm we gonna, just don't I'll, have I'll, those where I'll we take, live. Yeah, I'll take a picture and post it. Of the view. I mean, it's stunning. It's never been done before. There we go. Yeah. It's never been, the mountains have never been done right, before. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so anyway, what we were saying earlier is after the start, after I DJed, we went to the further house, mm-hmm. which is basically this very fancy house with lots of outdoor space. Yeah, that's where we were yesterday. Yeah, it's as like well. it's like a. Uh, it's there's about, a pool. There's like a beautiful like jacuzzi area. There's like a bar kind of beautiful, an outdoor bar. Yeah, just a, a beautiful house. They it's, have. It's almost like it was a house that they converted into like a venue space. It's a, an event space now, yeah. but yeah, there's industrial kitchen. You know, you open it up. Our, our new friend Billy Yang opened up one of the huge fridge doors. There's like fresh pressed juice and everything in there. We're just like taking, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and everywhere I'm you turn. I'm not used to that. I feel like you're supposed to do that at these kind of places. Yeah, but we're used to like fending for ourselves. Yeah. And we're dehydrated and we're starving and we're sunburned and we don't have a toilet. That's how we <laughs> usually do yeah, these yeah, trips. Yeah. That's true. But Lululemon is like, no. Everywhere you turn, it is, do you want a a fresh juice? There's a toilet. There's a toilet. Yeah. There's hand sanitizer. There's a sink. There's running water. Sunscreen. There's sunscreen everywhere. Thank you for the sunscreen. Thank you. (laughs) Jeez. I was getting cooked out there. You sounded so feeble. You're just like, thank you for the sunscreen. (laughs) I was getting cooked out there. Yeah, we were really cooked. And speaking of cooked, we went back to the house, the further house, and did yoga outside in the sun. Yeah. I was severely worried about that. I, I thought I was going to get heat stroke. Yeah. But there was a slight breeze and it felt like air conditioning. <laughs> I was like, it was giving me life. You said it life. was black yoga mats? They were black yoga mats, yeah. rubber. And There's it was not hot. an ounce of shade, by the way. It's just a field. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I love about T, though, she found a tree and she just put her mat under it. Mm-hmm. Completely separate from yeah. the group. Yeah. She's, she's amazing. Anyway, reason 5,860. I love tea. <laughs> so um, after yoga, which, Mike, you, you were in the nice, the nice yeah, house so editing. I, I filmed one clip of Aaron, and then I went back to the house to sit on a nice couch and edit. Oh, it looks so edit. nice, yeah. Um, in the cool shade. Yeah, and you guys were getting baked. We were getting and- toasted out there, toasty roasty. <laughs> And um, and then we had some snacks and refreshments, as Lululemon does. Mm-hmm. We got in our fancy shuttles, came back to the Ritz freaking Carlton. Yes. Did we mention? <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is a members only type of. It's uh, so members only. Yeah. Which is really funny. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, we got room service. It was delectable. It was delightful. It was stupendous. It was. Everything I could ever imagine <laughs> that that meal was going to be yeah. is what it was. Yeah. But I am tired, which isn't good because now in like 20 minutes, yeah, Dan and I have to go back to the race course, which I am excited about. I want to see what the women look like. I want to see how it's going. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I would also like to see that. Yeah. But but then you're stuck for, until for 10 like p.m. You're not getting 10. back ever. Yeah. And then. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Then you're trapped. And, yeah. Uh, because it's not close to here. It's 45 it's 40, minutes. Yeah, it's 40 to 45 minutes away. Yeah. So um, the thing is, this is day one. Unfortunately, we're leaving tomorrow morning. So we're not going to get to see them at their lowest. Mm-hmm. Well, is there like a live stream or something? I, I They were going to do a live stream. And I, that's what I was going to broadcast like for them yeah. their, uh, with their film crew. Yeah. But um, understandably, there were so many moving parts on logistics that... In order for everything to run smoothly, they took away the live stream. Okay. So they're going to have tracking on their website. Uh, when this comes out, it will be over. Right. So um, I think. Yes, it will. Yeah, so what's the tracking show? Do you know? It, it shows miles. It so won't show like the... The state of them. Yeah, because like that's... To be I'm honest, it, it, it's dramatic. It is dramatic. It feels like I... That it's, should be recorded and published yeah, in some way. It is it is survival out there. I mean, 
the other thing that we did get to see was the athlete village mm-hmm. because they at some point will have to sleep. Yeah, they all have their own RV. Yes, they have their own RV. Apparently fully decked out. We didn't fully get to see inside. Fully decked out. Yeah, they're going to send us pictures that we could put here mm-hmm. of, of them. They're fully stocked. They That's also where they get their, if they need their race kits repaired or replaced, they have a tailor or seamstress mm-hmm. or whatever to <laughs> fix anything that needs to be fixed. Yeah. They also are ironing on all the women's bib numbers so that they don't have to deal with like the pins. So like down to the very last detail, mm-hmm. Lululemon is like, what can we do? Mm-hmm. So there's zero friction between them and their goals. Right. No pun intended. That sounded so, that sounded so salesy. I didn't mean for that, yeah. but. I think because we've been seeing all this stuff that they put into it, it is legit that. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. It is cool. They're also, you know, the amount of details that they put into us just being so cush, mm-hmm. comfy, cozy, slightly There's snacks somber. everywhere. I think we said that yesterday. We do. We keep saying that. that. And refreshments. I love, I love that. My, My stomach favorite. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> you just ate a burger and fries. Dude, I inhaled it. I didn't chew. I just... I breathed it in. Yeah. <sighs> Immediately after, I felt like I was going to throw up because of how quickly I ate. <laughs> it's just not going down. Yeah. All and right. they have these cute little uh, Heinz ketchup bottles. And the little pickles on top. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even take a picture of this this one. I just ate it. Oh, man. So, so yeah. Um, Part of me wants to, like, walk the Car- Ritz-Carlton and, like, talk about stuff but yeah we have to go we have to go and what sucks is like i'm not gonna get back till late we have to leave here at 5 30 in the morning yeah and we don't even have yusuf as our driver i don't think right. they didn't tell us but. yeah most likely not right so sad us <sighs> yep well it was us sad okay um what else should lives. we what else should we talk about i feel like well the athlete village was impressive they also have a private chef so oh, right. according to whatever their nutrition uh, needs are during this race like someone might want tacos for example mm-hmm. chef t i think w- it was the name sounds right yeah i'm just making that up everyone's probably. last name is t, t. <laughs> yeah chef t it will provide Anything that they could, they would request Mm -hmm. to eat. They also have, you know, the fuel like bars and things like that already stocked in their RVs, but they can also request meals on demand. That's great. I I can't even imagine. Right. I'm so impressed by that. Yeah. Because like an ultra race in the mountains, you're probably eating like, if it's hot food, it's not hot anymore. Yeah. Because they had to get it up that mountain. Mm -hmm. You're eating a cold pierogi (laughs) (laughs) uh uncrustable right right yeah Yeah. um what's happening i hear more noise i don't know i'm just like what's happening in my gut is what i'm worried about (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah you have a i have a 45 minute bus bus ride ride, yep if you need pepto let me know i got it yeah i have to (laughs) i have to film one more line for a video Yes. We have to do a champagne toast, I think, before or after. I don't really know anymore. The schedule, I'm always confused. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I might as well just follow Destiny. She tells us what to do. Yeah. So uh, that, is, that, is, that is what's going on now. Yeah, I'm wondering like if, if we can update, do another update like after or... After dinner? Yeah, but how tired? You guys are going to be so tired. When At you the airport. There. We could do this in the airport. Yeah, let's do that. Because we're going to want to talk about the car ride. It's going to be eventful. We could do it in the car. Oh, yeah, we could do it in the car. Yeah. Do you guys want to hear some car noise? <laughs> like Risa Tisa vibes. Yeah, we could do it in the car. Let's that would be do fun. that. We're going to be exhausted, but we could do it. Yeah. We have a long... Three hours. Yeah. Also, why is there so much traffic? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I think I think we're good for now. I think we're good for now. Uh, I'll talk soon. Yes. Okay, we're back. Blow, blow, blow. <laughs> it is in the morning. 5.57. 5.57. We've been in the car for like half hour. 
maybe 15 minutes. I have no idea. It's probably a little less than half hour, yeah. I'm really tired. Um, how are you, Michael, Michael Motorcycle? Uh, tired, but I think I'm a little bit more awake than you are. <laughs> Why is that? Um, I don't know. Maybe because I was in the hotel room last night while you were oh, right. still yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. We were up around the same time, but right. what we did was very different. So. Yeah, so Dan and I had another dinner last night. We had to be social. Once again, they made us sit n- next to new people, so I couldn't rely on Dan to do all of the socializing. Yeah. And um, I sat next to Billy Yang. Great guy. Shout out. Shout out, Billy. I think, yeah. And, um, yeah, it was... And then, you know, we had a, it was a great dinner. I did not remember what I ordered because we had to order our, pick our food like two weeks ago. Yeah. And I th- I'm like, I think I got probably the chicken or the salmon. And um, they came up to me and they were like, are you vegetarian or vegan? I'm like, no. And they're like, okay, because you ordered the mushrooms. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what a pick. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, yeah, then we had a 45 minute drive home. We, before dinner, we did get to see an update on all the runners. Um, we got to cheer for them and we saw them going into their pit stops. I think Dan got some footage of that Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was very exciting. Now we're taking a selfie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're taking a selfie in the car. Did we mention we're in the car? Uh, I think so. We're on like some highway. Yeah, do you guys hear the highway noise? That's good, yeah. That's a good pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, this morning we had quite a wake-up call because... So Dan was in the shower. I heard something over the intercom, but I thought it was... I thought it was just like, good morning, there's a sale today <laughs> at, you know, 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah. on all of our summer products. Yeah. But it was actually, attention, attention, their emergency has been reported in this building. Please, please stop. Is it like stop business? I don't know. I recorded it. And, yeah, uh, it's basically saying get out. It was There's an emergency. Don't take the elevators. Yeah, so Dan got out of the shower, you know, was getting dried off. I am have no urgency. I'm just packing up my stuff and <laughs> taking a video of the emergency thing. Yeah. And, um, what, and Mike, you did not do that. Yeah, so I was about to get in the shower, <laughs> right. so I was undressing, and then <laughs> I hear the alarm. And I'm like, God, seriously? And at first, it didn't... It didn't register, like, the seriousness until I heard what it said. Yeah. I was like, oh, maybe it's just someone paging me, like, you guys are paging me or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I heard it said, I was like, okay, so there might be a fire in here. <laughs> but every room has a balcony door. So, yeah. like, worst case scenario, you just, you just go hop, hop, on over hop there. out. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I, I frantically get dressed. Mm-hmm. Um, grab the important things. We, grab- should, we should say that, like, we don't have a lot of time at this point because the car was yeah, coming Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, like, maybe 5.10. Yeah, so it's, like, you... you I, like, planned for... Okay, I, I, have, I have time to shower and then yeah. to get out and, and meet you guys at 5.30. Yeah. So, yeah, so I frantically grabbed my stuff. I grabbed uh, my wallet my phone and then my camera bag because I was not losing all that work right, that right. I put in <laughs> on that video. So, um, so yeah, I, I go out into the hall. There's only one other girl yeah, and she's like wearing a robe and you know, her eyes are like squinty. Luckily, like I was up, you yeah, know, you were we were already up. up so, yeah. but most people were dead asleep which i think would have been more s- terrifying that would have been yeah i think if i if i woke up like that i might have thought oh i should get out of here yeah but i was I, like i saw one uh well let me get there okay so we 
this girl and I uh, eventually find out her name is Isabel because we bonded. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, her and I walked out um, because we, we were looking around and she was like, this isn't a dream, right? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm awake because she's like, everyone's dressed. She saw other people like dressed to go and I was like it was just like me and like a couple other uh, people that worked there you oh, know oh, okay. so she was probably still a little like not fully awake you know yeah um we go outside and it's just her and I outside like the staff didn't care I don't know oh. if you guys saw staff like they were just like no, still cleaning and we doing didn't whatever. even look out yeah you didn't even leave your room so no. <laughs> her and I walk outside um we talked for a little bit about like Lululemon stuff. Oh, <laughs> and okay, then, okay. And then um, we were like, so what, what should we do? And we walked over, like, outside towards the lobby um, and then went back into the lobby, and people are just congregated in the lobby, which is not where you're supposed to be if right, there's a fire. Right, outside, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, a few minutes pass. Uh, we see more people. There's, like, one girl, like, tearing up, probably just from adrenaline. Like, oh, yeah. Um, and then someone goes over the intercom and says hey like this was a false alarm or something and right um and then she did not properly hang up and it was like hissing and beeping right and, so that was good yeah and then we went back um and did you I, get to I shower get, well so i get to my door i realize i don't have my key oh no right so i have to walk back to the That's lobby very unlike you well, the keys I have on, like, the dresser, and yeah. I didn't think, like, oh, emergency, let me grab my key. I was trying to grab the essentials. Yeah. Um, so I go back to the lobby, and I'm like, hey, I'm locked out. And she has to, like, print me a new key. Luckily, I had my ID with me so she could identify the, oh, the room. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, uh, I get back in. I did shower. Um, and then once I got out, you texted me. So I was, like, yeah. frantically grabbing all myself. Right. Hopefully I have everything. Um but it was mostly packed anyway. Yeah, we. I think we did most of the packing last night, but I still had to, like, use my toothbrush or my shower stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is enthralling. I think <laughs> people are, the, they're riveted. They're at the edge of their seats right now. I mean, the the first thought, one, one of the first thoughts I had when I was walking out in the hall and I saw there wasn't smoke, I was like, this is good podcast content. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Dan was in the shower. Yeah. Dan not... He just kept showering. Dan not caring is very on brand. Just like, yeah. ah, I can get out of here if, if I have to. I think if Dan, if I wasn't with Dan, I probably would have went out. Mm -hmm. I probably would have grabbed my stuff and gotten out, but I figured Dan will bust through anything like the kool-aid man right you know we'll, we'll be fine <laughs> yeah also like you're you can like walk, step outside yes we could just step out yeah yeah um and so i asked the lady at the front desk i was like do you know what happened and she's like no but like anytime something like this happens and we take it very seriously because we're in like the dry desert area yeah yeah and i'm like okay and that was it yeah. so she didn't really have an explanation of what happened but Right. I love how Dan's Dan's plan was not just to uh, go out of that door. Throw your bags out. Yeah, it was to throw <laughs> the bags down the cliff in case the driver couldn't get up to the hotel. We just, would have just left at that point. Yeah, yeah. I would have left, like, whatever clothes I had. Yeah. And just, okay. Yep. <laughs> just grab my camera stuff, and yeah. that's all I needed, really. So, um, yeah, we that was that, and then... Now we're in the car on the way to LAX. It's like a three hour drive. Um, I took Motrin for my cramps and I, I took my vitamins, so we should be surviving. <laughs> I did leave my heating pad in my check bag. I'm not sure if I'm gonna regret that or not, but you can't use that on the plane anyway. Right. Unfortunately. Okay. okay. Um, we can... Uh I'd like to try to record at least one more time. Yes. Maybe in the plane. I, or maybe <laughs> yeah. in... We should try at least in LAX. Yeah. And also maybe on the plane. I think that would be a good... This is our first car segment, and we could also have our first plane segment all in one episode. Yeah, we did We did one car segment, but it wasn't a moving car. It was when we went into a mall parking yeah, lot. Yeah, that didn't count. <laughs> we need the car sounds. Okay. Okay. All right, bye. 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 
Wow, here we are, not on the plane. We should say that much. Thing not on the plane. It's the next day. Things took a turn. (laughs) Yeah, for the worse. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I think the last clip we were like, "Oh yeah, let's record on the plane." Teehee, and well, yeah, and that was also at five thirty in the morning. Right, we were delirious. Uber, but also let's talk about the thing is. We could have physically recorded on the plane. However, the people that we wanted to talk about were sitting next to us. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I I felt like I couldn't like trash Mm -hmm. uh, the experience with strangers around. Exactly. So I, um, where do we go from here? Let's, let's, you know what? Let's just kick off right when we got to, well, obviously we had like a, car ride like three and a half hours way too long way too long what is going on there that traffic wow i mean i guess it was good that we experienced it because we can say we experienced la traffic but it was not a great time to experience that we were not in the no and i was like starving myself (laughs) and dehydrating myself it wasn't a good it wasn't a good physical condition yeah, I felt like um I was like on Survivor or something the whole day. Yeah, even though ten <laughs> women were had been running at that point for twenty four hours. Yeah, we need to um update everyone on what their their how many miles they've run at this point. Yeah, and so when this comes out, you'll have the official like ending of it. But Camille mm-hmm. already ran the furthest that she's ever run. Uh oh, it's over two hundred miles, like way Dang. over. Yeah. Yeah. So. So there, there's that. And Myrna is also approaching that within like one more lap. She'll she'll have run the furthest. This is as we were we're recording this is day three. So mm-hmm. amazing all around. Just yeah, it's it's so cool. So I have some notes. Yeah. Um one thing we wanted to say and we haven't said yet is that the whole experience, uh, at least from my perspective, felt like we were on a school field trip yes. the whole time. Yeah. And Destiny, shout out Destiny, was our chaperone. Yeah, shout out Destiny. She was our parent chaperone. She would text us things like, okay, guys, quick huddle outside the shuttle, you mm-hmm. know, and we would get off. We'd have a little huddle. She would like tell us what we're going to do. Any Anytime like a little thing changed, like, oh, this conference is going a little over. You're not going to have enough as much time with the athletes. She'll like somehow quickly rearrange everything so that we can all still get our interviews in mm-hmm. and send like a detailed text. Yeah. It's, she, yeah. She would come onto the bus and do a count. Yeah. She like, would, okay, one, yeah. two, three. It's like, go, you know, and that was very reminiscent of like school field trip. Yeah. And we'd get shuttled. Everyone's lined up with their little backpacks, yeah. you know. And we just wanted, we really wanted Destiny to like us, mm-hmm. you know. So I, I just, we wanted to make sure we were always on time. We were always on the shuttle. And we were always we listening to job. the rules. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah, go ahead. The other note I have is the handicap parking when we pulled up to the I airport. I can't wait to get into this. Okay. Okay. After, after that long car ride, we were so ready to just get on the plane and we get out of the car get our bags and i hear this interaction going on behind us and this lady she's in like a g-wagon naturally i think it's very personifying of this Mm -hmm. woman she is in front of somebody parked like pulled over in the handicap place where you can help a handicapped person like get out and help them with their bags and take them into the airport. You're allowed to be in that area. Mm -hmm. She, as this poor man was helping his handicapped mom out of her car, he's being yelled at by this woman in the G wagon saying, this is handicapped. This is handicapped. And the guy was like, yeah, uh uh-huh. He, I think he said like, she's handicapped. Yeah. And then he was (laughs) like, she is or something. And she's like, you need handicap car, handicap car. And he's like, what? And he's like, do you mean that the license plate? And I looked at the mm-hmm. license plate and it was blue. It said handicap on yeah. it. Yeah. And that like kind of shut her up. You know, mm-hmm. she was like, oh, and kind of went back to her car and she goes, then she starts yelling at them for something else. Like, 
moving the car or something. And he's like physically car- almost carrying his mom into the place. Yeah. And he was so cool, calm and collected about it. I wasn't. I was like fired up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that was that's so mean. She's yelling at them for what? I have no idea. Maybe because he got too close to her G-Wagon and he was just pissed off well, because of that. She got too close to the handicap spot. Right. So <laughs> there's that. So then we get into the security line. And I, of course, have to get next to this woman who is just furious. She's so angry. She's slamming her bin down. Be- the the TSA agent was just like, ma'am, uh, please remove like something or put that in a separate bin. She got mm-hmm. so angry about it. So she's getting mm-hmm. a separate bin from the from the bottom. She shoves her full bin like so hard. I thought it was going to fly off the thing at the agent and mm-hmm. slams the other bin down. And uh, mind you, I am like so close. She could like slam my fingers into her bin. Right. right. And I'm just like, wow. And the TSA agent goes, ma'am, it's all right. It's not the end of the world. It's fine. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that enraged this woman even more and i like i just i couldn't i couldn't um believe what i was seeing you know because i've seen people get flustered or a little angry going through security Mm -hmm. it can be stressful but the physical the way she was taking it out in a physical way Mm -hmm. i i thought that if i said something to her she would just sock me right in the face (laughs) Yeah. yeah yeah so i you know obviously i didn't say anything and then I am go to get my bag at the other end and I start saying to Dan, like, yeah, this lady. And I look over, she has this green hoodie on and she's right there. So mm-hmm. I'm like, crap, I can't tell him. I'll tell him later. And because yeah. he was at the other side. And so then we, you know, went to the lounge and did our work and whatever. I drank your water by accident. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. And we'll get back to the lounge in a second, but we get on the plane and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to, I have all this time to tell Dan about that crazy lady in the security line. Well, guess who's sitting right next to me? The crazy mm-hmm. lady and the green hoodie. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Oh, I was like. I had, I had uh, someone, I don't, she was, she was nice. Like she didn't create any problems for me, but I heard her speaking on the phone as I, arrived at my seat yes. and she was like the opposite of uh people i would associate myself <laughs> with <laughs> that's a nice that's a politically correct way of saying that yeah she was talking about um her her dad like daddy's beach house type oh, thing oh jeez yeah 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 oh and you texted me you said she was saying the r word like repeatedly like loud like loudly yeah jeez oh, okay Um, and, and I was like, you're in a public place. Like, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't understand. She was maybe, uh, early twenties. Okay. Yeah. That's, I feel like, Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. That would make me (laughs) (laughs) without, without judging. Uh, that would make me uncomfortable. Cause if you're just like loosely saying that, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then. My only other complaint, I guess, about the is everyone wants to hear us complain, right? I, I mean, mean, that's, that's what we're fun. here for. <laughs> yeah, the there's there was not a single meal without cheese on it. <gasps> Did you not eat anything? I ate the bread. Oh my god! For six hours. That's what I. That's what I mean. Like I felt like I was oh, like you're probably amazing. on Survivor because the guy gave us three options, and he was like, "Oh, well, there was like a chicken one." And I said, I'll have that. And then he came back to me later and said, actually, it has like a cream sauce or something. Yeah. And I said, okay, well, I don't want that. And he's like, well, you can have the bean salad or something. And I was like, okay, sure. Yeah. I'll have the bean salad. Yeah. He brings it to me. It's got feta cheese all over it. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> and I ended up not eating that. Yeah. And he was like, will you be joining us for dessert? And I was like, sure. <laughs> then the dessert tray comes around and it's cheesecake. <laughs> it's a cheese plate. Or um, ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. That was the dessert. Yeah. So I didn't eat any of that either. Wow. So 
Why don't they have like non-dairy options? That's interesting because like on a shorter flight, I could I get it. Like you you could just like bring something. But if you're on a six hour flight, say you brought like a dairy free sandwich or something. I don't even know mm-hmm. what I, what someone like you eats. <laughs> but say you brought something. It's not I eat everything except cheese. It's not gonna be safe to ha to eat it. It's not gonna be food safe anymore after five hours. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't survive five hours on bars or something. Like you need food. I mean I did. So Well you did, but it was not pleasant. I ate the granola that we we had taken and then I ate no, I think just granola. Um there is I'm surprised they didn't offer you one of those snack boxes because there's ones with like hummus and dipping things and little snackies. Yeah, I think I I had I did have that yeah. at the end, right? This there was like a snack portion at the end. No, it's a box. It's a box, like, and you open it, and there's all these different I individualized things. I didn't get that, and the guy was not like the nicest. He he wasn't very did. accommodating. I will say that, but um, he was just like, nope. Not you're not eating. Yeah. Sorry about that. (laughs) Actually, not sorry. We go in the air as a plane does. After, by the way, we were on the ground for an hour. I don't know if you noticed that. We were. Yes. I texted Dan's mom when we were like fully boarded. Mm -hmm. Maybe there were a couple of people still coming on. And I was just saying we're on the plane, you know. And Mm -hmm. then an hour later, she said safe flight. And I was like, oh, I'm just curious, like when I sent that, it was exactly yeah. an hour earlier. Yeah, I was editing. So yeah, I, I guess the time went by a little bit faster. But... Right. And um, so anyway, naturally, because we were on the ground that long, everybody had to pee. It was like mm-hmm. whist central. There was a whist line like <laughs> uh, down the aisle uh, in, in yeah. the back. And somebody before the seatbelt sign went off went into the bathroom and I'm like, I get it. You you got to go. I really have to go. The occupied sign never came on. So she didn't even lock the door. Oh, which was interesting. So she was in there in the okay. dark, basically. Yeah. And for a very long time, I'm talking at least 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And I would say a long time on a plane to use the bathroom is probably like four to five minutes. That's excessive. Like, Hurry up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, there's not that many o- over here. Even so. if you're taking a poop, just push harder, faster. So she's in there so long. And then she comes out hunched over. You know that yeah. if you're like hung over or like you're you got a stomach bug is something about it. It makes you just like hunched over when you walk and she mm-hmm. just like gets right in her seat and like blanket over her. And I was like, oh, no. Oh no, I don't know if I can go in there. That is yeah. that is stomach virus um palooza. I tried to avoid that bathroom. Yes. Well That's why I would walk back to the other one. Likewise, however, the one the other bathroom had the full line. It was like mm-hmm. people waiting back it was back to back with. Mm-hmm. And so I think the girl I let the girl that sat next to you saying the R word, I let her go in. <laughs> and then yeah. when she came out, I was like, all right, maybe she breathed in all of the stomach the virus. virus palooza. Right. Now she's breathing it on me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't process yet in her by that point. Yeah. So then I went in, I put my uh, hoodie over my nose to like filter the germs out mm-hmm. and like took a nice whisk, washed my hands like mad. And then got back to my seat without touching anything. I'd put on more hand sanitizer. Yeah. So that was that. I mean, the thing is, she could be pregnant. She could be hungover or she could have a stomach virus. She could have just ate some bad uh, or a bad food, food as well. poisoning, all of yeah. which I feel for her. But leave me out of it. Yeah. That took all that trip took all of my brain power. The social battery was beyond negative and yeah. just constantly thinking. We did good though. I, I'm, I'm good. proud of our our videos that we're putting out. And me too, me too. Uh, overall, we survived. Lululemon was amazing. Like, literally took care of us like we like we were little baby bums, and mm-hmm. it was great. The only thing is uh, the 
time zone difference and the lack of me eating, but that's not their fault. That's my fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so thank you everyone for listening. Don't forget to leave us a five-star review on Apple podcasts and Spotify. And we love reading your comments on our Instagram posts at non-members only. So we will talk to you soon. <laughs> okay. Bye. bye. Wow.